so we're back for our weekly update. Some of the things that we've got done besides having to move out of our place this weekend is putting up some plywood on the walls. We've also got some electrical and more insulation behind this. And we also got some work done on the back cap. Bjorn did some great welding with the steel supports, so it's a little more structurally sound now, and that's great. And so yeah, what we've got done with the walls is probably the most exciting thing is we have a wall again. <laughs> So what we did, you can tell in the ceiling, this is what it used to look like before we had all of this up, is that we had our first layer of insulation, the runners, and what we did differently over here is adding a second layer of three quarter inch insulation. So now everything is flush with the runners. From there, we were planning where we were gonna hang our electrical. What we did is just cut out little channels back here of where we could put two different types of Romex. And we also were hanging up some extra insulation because we can't get enough of it. What we did was put on ACX plywood. And what that is, is this is the C side and this is the A side. The A side is a little nicer, we'll keep it so it's a nice surface to work with for the, the final product. And then the C side is just kind of not very finished, it's got some open holes, so we just face that towards the inside of the bus so you can't see it. And what we put on behind that was this 3-in-1 underlayment. 3-in-1 meaning there's a moisture barrier, it acts as a insulation with this fabric and it also acts as a sound deadening. So in order to seal that to the back on the C side, we just used 3M's multi-purpose adhesive and it works pretty well. It's very sticky, and the second you lay it on, it's on there, so that was a good product and we're happy with it. And so yeah, behind the plywood wall, we have our electrical. And what we did to mount that was just cut out a little one inch gap in the insulation and we're leaving one channel for our 10-2 and another channel for our 12-2. The reason we have these two different types of gauge wires is because we have different types of appliances. So for example, the appliances that take more power that we have are the refrigerator, the washer dryer combo unit, and uh, so we're going to be putting those two appliances definitely on the 10-2 the and then for the 12-2 that'll be supplying power for pretty much every other plant we'll be having in the bus. We do have a general layout of where we're going to be putting things in the bus but until we know exactly where things are going to be we're just leaving access points out. We'll just drill a hole in the plywood for different areas for these to come out and from there we'll be mounting the junction boxes on the plywood so that we can always access the electrical if we need to. They'll be behind our cabinets, furniture, they'll be hidden so we have some more flexibility in choosing where we want to mount our outlets as we get further along with our design. So as a review, uh, we're pretty happy obviously with the plywood that we chose. We got kind of lucky with the plywood we found at Home Depot is a little skewed. It wasn't totally level, so they're very gracious and they gave us five 4x8 sheets 50% off. So thank you, Home Depot. We really appreciate that. And as for the 3 in 1 underlayment, we're pretty happy with the installation of this. It was $50 for 100 square feet, but it was definitely worth it. And we will be putting it on throughout the rest of the bus just gives us a little more peace of mind knowing that it acts as a moisture barrier as well as, you know, further sound deadening. So 
We're going to be putting that on the rest of the bus soon here. So next weekend we're going to try and replicate what we've done on this side and continue on with the ceiling and the driver's side of the bus. And we're we'll also do some work on the ceiling. We also have some more work to finish on the back cap. We've already inspected a couple of the radiators back there. One definitely, we you know, has to be replaced, so that's going to be a huge project within itself. We already bought the sheet metal for finishing off the cap, so luckily next weekend is Labor Day weekend, so we have a lot of time to spend on the bus. Stay tuned to check out the progress we made.